Hey, organizational ethics community folks, one hell of a semester. Do you agree? Welcome to my home. I'd rather be in the classroom with you guys. I will say that this course was a very tough course for me in the beginning. I did not care for it. It was a bit too heavy for me. And I had to ask myself, why? Why do I feel this way? It was because it was bringing out a lot of triggers. And those triggers were stemming from not truly knowing what my core values and code of ethics was, but knowing in my gut there was something there. So I was involved in lots of unethical situations and I knew it here, but I didn't know it here. And I really appreciate that this class happened. So thank you guys for such an amazing journey. Thank you, Kendra, for your teachings. So I will go ahead and get into my own personal code of ethics. I'm just going to cover a couple here. One of them is when something feels wrong in my gut. I will research ethical situations to have proper education and why I feel this way so that I can stand up correctly for humanity. So one of the biggest fights that I have is for humanity and people being seen and treated as a human being. I enjoy giving lots of perspectives of how somebody can see something because I know a lot of us tend to go in black and white but somebody is always coming from somewhere. And to me, that's a humane thing to do. So I will also own every action, whether right or wrong, and rectify the situation as best I can while remembering I'm human. So I learned this one from personal experience and also tied in with our ethical leadership discussions. I really enjoyed Christine Lee coming in. She taught a lot. And one of the main things she taught about is that if you're going to work for an organi organization, you need to know your core values. It's who you are inside. And then you can see if the organization is in alignment with who you truly are so that you can thrive. I was a part of a dance team where I was the captain. And I made a lot of mistakes and I lived with those mistakes because I didn't rectify them correctly. I knew some of the actions that I took were incorrect. Some of the things I said were incorrect. I wasn't as politically correct as I needed to be. And now I have this class to know why things went the way they did. But I will next time own up to my mistakes and try to find positive solutions as fast as possible and also give myself that reminder that I'm a human as well and that's a part of humanity. All right, so that is about it for my personal code of ethics. One thing I will take with me with my personal code of ethics into an organization I work for, I will probably be a PR specialist but most likely a writer. So I've decided that I will not let democracy die in darkness. And if somebody is asking me to be unethical and to cover any truths or not exploit something that could really hurt a lot of humanity, I will say no, I will be strong and I will contact local government, <laughs> federal, legislative, whoever I need to contact along with press to really get the truth out to avoid any more unethical situations in my lifetime. All right. Thank you guys for your time. Have a good one.